Hey, Blake, Oceana here with G3 Agency. This is that video that I promised to send over to you about how to get to the first page of Google uh, with or without a website. So let's just jump right in. Um, first of all, I just want to say uh, that my goal for this video is that you will leave um, we, at the end of the video, you'll know what you need to do to get your company in front of um, people searching on Google for your services, um, even without my help. You know, I'm going to I'm going to give you 10 minutes of my my darndest time. Um, <laughs> but I want you to be able to take care of this stuff yourself with the information that I give you. But of course, you know, there are lots of people who see this video, these videos and they go, I love it. I want I, you know, I want to take advantage of these opportunities, but I just don't have the time. And in that case, you're welcome to reach out to me and we can go over your business goals and see if a partnership makes sense. But that is not an expectation in any way. Um, please feel free to use this information um, freely. So let's jump right into it. Um, <laughs> oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay, so first of all, this is my keyword research that I did. Then the reason that I reached out to carpet cleaners in your area. Um, so right here, uh, this tool gives me the ability to see what people are searching for on Google and how many times a month it's getting searched and also the competition, like how, how competitive it is to show up at the top of Google. So, um, a, any keyword that's a good keyword is going to have four elements, um, something that you do somewhere that you do it high volume and low KD. So something that you do and somewhere that you do it, of course, is just to narrow down that the person searching is actually looking for your services. Um, and then volume is how many times a month this is getting searched. So 250 people every month are looking for carpet cleaning Littleton, Colorado, and they're typing it just like that. Another 150 people a month are typing Littleton, Colorado carpet cleaning. Um, it's very similar to you and me. It means the same exact thing, but to Google, this is two separate things. So um, it separates it out. You can see how it kind of stacks up. It starts adding up and, and you can see there's a lot of people looking for your services. Uh, and then right here, this is the most exciting part. KD stands for keyword difficulty. Basically, it's a competition score. How difficult would it be to get to the first page of Google if you gave it a real shot? Um, and these anything below uh, anything five and below is what we call low hanging fruit because it's going to take a lot less time and effort than if you go after something that has a higher score like even this 10. Um, it just gets you know the higher the score here the longer it's going to take to get to the first page of google and this is not a short process this is something that takes a while because you're building trust with Google and it takes a little while for Google to open up and, and you know, believe you that you really are legitimate um, and build that trust there. OK, and then so now that we've identified a uh, keyword that we want to go after, you're going to do this for each of the keywords, by the way, that you want to um, show up for. So you're going to put it into Google and check out the competition. First of all, here's the ads. You can set up ads, too, but Honestly, most people just skip right past them. They're not my favorite. Um, they're, they're good for a little boost in, in traffic every once in a while, but um, it's better to show up organically. And then down here, this is the map pack. Uh, how you get up into the map pack is with citations. So first of all, you want to make sure your Google My Business listing is up to date and accurate. By the way, this is the part that I was talking about you don't need a website for. Um, you can see these guys do have websites, so you can have a website listed, but you actually do not need to. And there are, I've seen many times, I've seen um, somebody in the top three that doesn't have a website. That's perfectly normal. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a Google My Business listing set up. That's totally free. You just have to go to business.google.com. Dot com. Um, it'll redirect you to another URL that I can never remember. Um, and that's a Google service to set up your business listing. Um, so once you've set up your business listing, then you want to make sure to um, plaster it all over different directories like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, etc. Um, and there are lots of places that you can list your information as a citation for free. Um, and that's going to help to boost your credibility with Google and push you up the maps results. And if you end up in the top three, then you're shown here on the first page. And if you have a website, that's nice because it, it sends people to your site. But if you don't have a website, it's fine too, because they, they can still um, see your rating for you know any reviews you might have. Uh, and then they also can see your phone number right there and give you a call. And then down here, this is the part that you do need a website for, but it's also the most um, rewarding part of showing up on Google because this right here, this link will get the most clicks out of any of them. 
uh, any of the links on this page. So what we want to do is compare you to them uh, or basically take a look at their site and think, okay, what is it that they're doing right that they're showing up on this first page um, so that we can do that correctly as well when we create a website. So first of all, they're including these keywords that we were talking about. We identified carpet cleaning Littleton, Colorado, carpet cleaning Littleton, Colorado. It's not in a coincidence that they have this right at the top of their page, right in big bold letters, um, and they're showing up for that word on Google. And they also, they don't just have it here. They also have it, you know, I'm not, I don't know where exactly, but they have it throughout here in the, um, the content as well. And um, what they could do, but they actually didn't, and something I would suggest that you do, if you, especially if you want to beat them, um, and it's a good opportunity for you. If you right click on this image, and you can see, say, click Save Image As, you can see that this image was saved as apartment.jpg. So that's not actually helping them very much. And this is a lost opportunity. What you could do and what I suggest you do uh, when you set up your site is you save these images as those key phrases like carpet cleaning Littleton, Colorado, for example. Um, save it and upload it like that because that's going to be a, yet another signal to Google that when someone types that in, you're the one to show them. Um, and then here is another function of Arif's. Uh, this is basically, it gives me an idea of how a website's performing. So I can see that they're, even though they, you know, they're, um, I don't know what, <laughs> I lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, okay, so their UR score is basically how trustworthy Google thinks that this um, page is, this, this carpet cleaning page. And then the DR score is how trustworthy Google thinks that their entire website is. And you can see they've got a high DR score. This is actually quite impressive, but we don't have to beat them out on their whole site. We just have to beat the one page that's sitting on that um, on the top of the results that we want to sit there for. That was, that was a weird sentence, but <laughs> I think you got what I meant. Um, and then over here, we've got um, referring domains. So this is how we raise this score. This is um, the referring domains and backlinks is how Google determines how popular your website is, basically. And that's it is a popularity contest. Um, so a backlink is any link that goes from another website back to your website. And a referring domain is any website that has at least one of those links on it. Um, so this your your competition has, at least for this one page, it's got 15 different websites pointing to it a total of 70 times. The referring domains is more important than the how many times there's a link. Um, so here, uh, here's a good example of a good uh, backlink to go and get. Uh, so basically, what they probably did is they went to cleaning service uh, cleaning service reviewed dot com and said, "Hey, um, I've got a cleaning service. Will you please review it?" Um, and then they got this backlink out of it, and um, the DR score is that same domain rating, the, the trustworthiness of their whole site. And it's a 70, which is really good. This one is not as good. It's a four. So it's got a very low score. So that's not really helping as much. And it's also not quite as relevant. My book coupons doesn't make a whole lot of sense when it comes to a cleaning service. Um, so you want to go after ones that are uh, relevant as well as highly credible. And that's it. <laughs> I hope that this was uh, helpful information for you. I hope that I explained everything okay. <laughs> and um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And if you'd like any help with this stuff, again, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to um, go over your business goals with you and just see if there's anything that my, my uh, colleagues and I, my team and I can do to help you. Um, okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your time and I look forward to your feedback. Thank you.